What's going on everybody? Solomon Ortiz here and I am here to talk about how to do a Facebook live video here on your Facebook page. So we're going to be talking about how to do this, all right? Step by step on how to, um, what not to do also, and some some uh, tips that I can give you that uh, can kind of like help you with that whole nervous uh, reaction to it. Now, before I get into it, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself and how I started, and then we're going to talk about all the tips that I have for you, all right? So when I started uh, about two years ago just dabbling with the live videos, I was very, very nervous, okay? So it actually took me a whole year. So last year and or, or so, I actually progressed with my live videos. I actually did a lot more. Uh, two years ago, I actually kind of like tried it out. It, it really freaked me out, so I stopped doing them. Uh, but since then I've done them, you know, just consistently. Uh, I also did, you know, like a 30 day, uh, just went all the way 30 days of doing live videos. And that was really, really beneficial for me just to kind of get over the nervous feeling, you know, and, uh, that helped a lot. So I actually do videos now. Uh, I do Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I do my best to stay consistent with that. That way people that are watching me know when I go live and know what time I go live. So normally I go live around this time uh, before lunchtime. This kind of like helps out for people that are either on lunch break or about to go on lunch break and they'll be able to see my video or uh, my live video or my replay, okay? And again, you have to remember, you don't really know the people that are out there in Facebook land. Uh, it could be, you know, someone that's like a friend of a friend of a friend watching you but that's the great thing about live videos is that you're going to be able to uh reach out to a whole bunch of people seven friends deep okay and we can talk about that in another video we're just going to solely talk about how to do one of these okay so first and foremost uh don't compare yourself to other people, okay? Don't compare yourself to my videos. Don't compare yourself to other people's videos that are on the team or or uh, and other uh, uh, people that do it uh, elsewhere. That's gonna really halt your progression, okay? You're just gonna wind up having that uh, comparitis. You're not gonna want to even begin, okay? So you definitely want to just think about it as, hey, this is my first day of uh, riding a bicycle and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna get my training wheels on and I'm gonna go, okay? Uh, that can really hinder you when you start looking back and, and looking around your uh, surroundings of other people doing it, okay? I've been doing it for a, quite some time and trust me, it took me a while to just get over it and just start getting any, any type of views at all whatsoever, all right? Now, second, pick and choose how you want to do your video. I like to do mine, you know, uh, up and down vertical. Some people like to do horizontal. Uh, it just depends on, uh, the person, you know, if you like to, uh, be seen like this up front, uh, up close and personal, that's why I like doing it this way. If you like to have it just, you know, like a landscape and you can upload it to YouTube that way, you can do that too as well. You can still upload it this way, but it's just going to be smaller, uh, a smaller, uh, video. Then you want to decide on a topic. There are so many topics out there. I mean, you, you can talk about from cooking to how to's to uh, to making a, a, a coffee or making a, a specific meal or making a, a cake or whatever. Uh, I've done, you know, different types. I've done workout videos. I've done, you know, just uh, interaction videos, just Q and A's. Uh, hair, you can do hairstyle videos. If you did like a hair and you got your hair cut, you can do like a hair review. Um, if you uh, are doing a makeup tutorial, you can do that too as well. It, it just depends on what you're comfortable talking about, okay? Remember this, you don't have to know everything about what you're talking about because I guarantee you the people that are watching you don't know either, okay? And just a little bit of information can go a long way. And that's what we're really here for is to educate people through you know, the, the live videos. So pick the topic. There's so many topics. I believe I actually have uh, 100 topics uh, somewhere in the group. You just gotta look on the search uh, topics and uh, you'll be able to uh, find what topics uh, are in there and you can pick and choose uh, the ones that you wanna do. 
Um, also, have notes prepared. As you see, I'm looking a little bit down. I have my notes in front of me. Now, I don't always have notes because I like to go off the cuff sometimes and, and I actually get a little better reaction that way. Um, but I've been doing, again, I've been doing it for quite some time. Now, if it's a specific thing that I'm talking about, uh, if I'm talking about keto, then yes, you definitely have to have your notes uh, or uh, people are going to try to fact check you or you might stumble and lose your, uh, lose your place or you might lose your uh, thought process because sometimes I go squirrel. And uh, I really need to uh, stay focused on what I'm, uh, I'm talking about, okay? So definitely have notes prepared, all right? It doesn't have to be like, you know, um, like a paragraph or anything, just little bullet points that you know what you're gonna be talking about, okay? The fifth one is be you times 10, okay? Be you times 10. Because if you are gonna be on here, you definitely don't wanna put people asleep, okay? You definitely want to bring the energy, bring the hype, uh, and that's what people are gonna be attracted to. I know for the most part, people that watch my videos, from the very get-go, they watch it because of my energy levels, because I'm so hyper in the videos, and they're like, they stay on, because they, you have literally 10 seconds, probably even less than that, to where they're gonna either stay on your live video, or they're just gonna go, nope, and just keep going and scrolling because that's the most important part. The very beginning is the most important part. You definitely want to have um, the energy levels up. You definitely wanna be in a good mood. You don't wanna be down and out, right? Because think about it this way. If I were to come on live video and just be like, hey guys, um, Solomon here, uh, it's, uh, it's gloomy outside and you know that's why I'm sitting here inside and I'm just talking. And, and a monotone voice, no one's gonna watch you, no one's gonna pay attention to you, all right? You wanna bring the energy all the time. I know it's hard to always stay positive, but if you're gonna do it for a live video, make sure that you have energy, your energy, your energy is up, you are, uh, you're drinking you know, the coffee, you're drinking you know, water or something, definitely gets you hyped up and, and ready to go, okay? So remember that, don't be boring. Don't be boring is the, uh, the sixth, tip that I can give you guys that kind of goes hand in hand with BU times 10. Boring, no one's going to watch, right? So remember, if you, you know yourself, you know, sometimes if, if I'm not, you know, energetic or, or whatever, I know there's some people that are out there that are introverts, you know, if you're introverted, that's okay. Live video is a great way to express yourself. Trust me, I, I'm not always this way. I'm not always energetic. I'm not always lucky go happy, you know. You know, I have my bad days too. But if you know yourself, just remember, okay, I'm gonna do my live video. I'm gonna get ener energetic, listen to some music, which is why I like to listen to music on my videos. It gets me hyped up. Uh, I, I drink the coffee, I'm ready to go. And I get on there and I make sure that I'm not boring, okay, because no one wants to watch a boring person. All right, and here's the uh, seventh tip, all right? The seventh tip is you're gonna want to introduce yourself. So this is right when you hit the, the button. Hit that live button and go, okay? You definitely want to introduce yourself. You want the audience to know who you are, okay? So introduce yourself, uh, discuss what you're talking about, and interact with the audience, and then you also wanna have a call to action. So I'm gonna give some little examples of each one of those, okay? It's almost like a paragraph, okay? Or a... Uh, or or if you're doing an essay or something, you wanna have the introduction, the body, and instead of having a conclusion, you want to have um, you want to have the call to action, okay? So how I introduce myself, I do it all the time, every single time that I get on here, sometimes I forget, but that's okay. You know, I hop on here and I click, and I click the live button and say, hey, what's going on, everybody? I do a little salute. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Solomon Ortiz coming at you live. Hashtag Combat Keto, because I want people to know also that I'm also Combat Keto. Hashtag Combat Keto. If you're hopping on the live, drop down in the comments. Let me know that you're here tuning in with me. City, state, country. I say that because I want people that are outside you know, of the realm, uh, that are overseas, to actually interact with me and actually comment where they're from, what if they're from another country, uh, what their name is, whoever. And then I say, um, if you're catching me on the replay, write the word replay. If you're new to the broadcast, write the word new so I connect with you guys. Replayers are going to be the ones that are gonna be watching your video the most. You might have a few people on live. Don't worry about the number on the live, okay? Just go live. 
it's actually the replayers that are gonna be watching your video. People that are at work right now, people that get off of work and come home and they see your video, oh, okay, and they, they watch the replay. So you wanna to talk to them too as well. Replayers, write the word replay, say hello. And then anybody that's new, that's the first time seeing you, you want them to, to say hello too, because you wanna introduce yourself to them too. You wanna to build that rapport, that relationship with them, okay? Um, and you know, go into introducing yourself. So for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Solomon Ortiz, you know, hashtag combat keto. I'm a father, I'm a veteran, I'm an entrepreneur, health and wellness coach, keto bro, social media bro, the people's champ. And I'd love to get on here and motivate, educate, and inspire others. There you go. Very, very simple guys. Now you pick and choose what you want, you know, and how you want to go about that and say it. But remember, you're branding yourself in this, so you definitely want to talk about who you are because they, you want them to remember who you are, okay? So remember that, all right? So discussing what you're talking about. So if you're talking about uh, makeup, talk about the makeup. Talk about, you know, your new hairstyle or your new reveal. If you're talking about, if you got it, you know, you can wear like a little a wig or something if you want, which we'll go into props here in a minute. And talk about, you know, you're, skept you're not skeptical, but you're, you're scared to actually get your hair cut. That's a great way to kind of like converse with people. Find your audience, find your tribe, because not everybody's going to agree or, or always watch you, all right? You want to actually find the people that want to watch you and continue to watch you, okay? Um, interact with the audience. I know it's a kind of a hard thing to do right now because if you're a first time live, uh, a liver, I guess, so to speak, you definitely want to like practice this. So take your time and actually try to read some of the comments without getting um getting uh, uh i guess your your uh your placement of where you're talking what you're talking about okay uh read the comments look at them and then say respond to them say oh thank you so much i appreciate that oh thank you for hopping on hello jennifer hello tom whoever's on there just kind of like converse with them that way you know or they know that you're actually reaching out and giving your time to them a little bit, okay? And they're gonna really appreciate that a lot, all right? Um, then at the very end of the video, you wanna do a call to action. The call to action is basically what you want them to do without them really, without you really saying it or, or really like in the beginning, you know, uh, being, you know, spammy, if you will. Call to action is basically kind of like leading them to the end of the video and saying, okay, hey guys, if you are, if you're talking about coffee, if you're interested in the coffee, uh, drop down, I'm interested, or shoot me a message. You actually want them to get in the comments, though. That way, uh, you can actually boost your uh, video uh, continuously. Each time someone comments, it actually boosts it into the news feed. Each time somebody likes it, boosts it in the news feed to their friends and their friends and their friends and so forth. All right. Once you respond to it, it gets boosted again. That's how you start getting more uh, views uh, into uh, Facebook. Okay, That's how it works. That's why they say... Live video is the future. Live video is going to be, uh, I mean, you can see it already. It's already in stories. It's already in, uh, you know, Instagram has it, Snapchat has it. So live video is really, really uh, important to start using, especially if you're trying to build a business uh, with network marketing, okay? So um, when you do the call to action, you just basically just say, hey, if you enjoy this video, you know, you know, give it a thumbs up or give it a heart, share the video out. Uh, also, you know, if you're interested in whatever it is that you're talking about, say interested or say I'm in or comment down below, um, so forth, or go, go to this uh, group or page or whatever, uh, you definitely want to kind of lead them into that uh, next action for them, okay? So that's call to action, all right? Remember that. Um, the eighth one is save the video to your phone, all right? You want to save the video to your phone because... Sometimes Facebook will glitch and delete the video. I don't know why, it just happens. It's happened to some few, uh, few of us, all right? That way, if it does happen, you can just upload it as a regular video and put it on your, your timeline again and just redo it. Or you can redo it all over again. I don't know if you want to, but for me, I just I'd rather just upload the video that I already saved on my phone. And you can also upload that to your YouTube. YouTube is another way you can out uh, get you know to other people too as well. You can just upload it and there you go. You don't have to do nothing about it. Just upload it and then boom, let people start watching it. If, if they like it, cool. They contact you and, and so forth, all right? Um, 
make sure that it's on HD too. So when you save it and you upload it, there's uh, there's some buttons on there. Make sure you read them. And there's one that says uh, upload HD. You definitely want that because the quality is really important. Uh, no one wants to see all squiggly lines or fuzziness or nothing like that. Sometimes that happens and that's okay, but you definitely want to make sure that your uh, HD majority of the time if you can, if it's possible, okay? Um, and then you just upload it to your timeline and there you go. Very, very simple, very, very easy. Uh, it's not um, it's not difficult, it just seems difficult because it's something that's new to you if you've never done them before, all right? Um, again, I said upload to the YouTube, you can do that too as well. Um, and remember to have fun, guys. Always remember to have fun. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's really important to understand that this is a, something that you can actually really, really take hold of and just have fun with it, guys. You see me when I do my videos. I'm always energetic, happy. I, I love to hop on here and just talk to people and communicate with everybody and just have a good, good time. And that's really important because if you're not having a good time, trust me, you're not going to you're not going to continue to do it at all. So we'll talk a little bit about some um, some equipment that you can actually use here. So I have a tripod that I got from Amazon. You can get a tripod too as well. Uh, you, uh, you can have Diva lights or, which you, I don't really use Diva lights. I use the sunlight because I, I, uh, I do my videos during the day, but you can uh, buy these little uh, ring lights. These are really good too. They'd actually help out. See, look, it makes my complexion look a lot better versus, you know, with the regular sunlight. But I like just using the, uh, the sunlight for the most part. Um, you can use lenses if you like. I don't know if they fit the new iPhones anymore or not or, or whatever phone you have, but I used to use a lens to kind of like make it larger. Um, I don't do it anymore, but I used to do this a lot and I did props. Um, I used to wear like crazy sunglasses, guys. <laughs> I used to wear these crazy sunglasses or a wig or something and it would just, people would like, if you're scrolling and you see a guy wearing these shades, you're, they're gonna be like, what the heck is that? What, who is that? What? And then, you know, when I reveal myself or, or I, I take them off, they're like, oh, okay. But it actually makes them to stop, okay? I don't do it anymore, which I might start doing it again because I used to have a lot of fun using these props and stuff. Um, whatever you feel like doing, or, or, or cups. You can use coffee cups. I like to use coffee cups as props now. Cups, whatever have you, you can use it. Just remember, just be creative, have fun, and just go all out, guys. And if you mess up, that's the beauty of it. It doesn't matter. It's live video. People don't want to see perfect. They want to see who you are. They want to see the real, you know, whoever it is that's, you know, they're watching. The real Solomon Ortiz, me. They want to see me. They don't want to see some guy that's just pretending to be, you know, Solomon or pretending to be or trying to be like somebody else. Because right now, there are a lot of people that are on live video doing it. But you have to understand that there's only one you and that's important and show the world who you are, okay? So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit lengthy, but I really want you to understand that you can really take this really, really far if you just buckle down, practice it, and just keep going and don't get scared because I know you're gonna get scared in the beginning, but that's okay. Just continue to do it and you'll get better and better and better and better every time you do it, okay? So thank you so much. Uh, and if you have questions, drop them, drop them in the comments. I will get with you. And as always, I'm Solomon Ortiz, hashtag Combat Keto, and I'll see you guys at the top. Y'all take care. Have a great day.